Hey guys, Sim here from T-Pass Aquatics. So what I wanna show you today is this company sent over this pH test meter. It's an electronic meter. It does pH, temperature, salinity. Uh, it's got TDS readings and stuff. So I wanna see because I know that would be more convenient to use than having to use like a liquid test kit, but I wanna make sure that it's still accurate and kinda of see how that does. So I'm gonna show you that today. I'm gonna to show you how to calibrate that and stuff and what that comes with. And then I'm also gonna then do a test at the end here where I'm gonna test using my electronic pH meter and using the liquid pH test from the API Freshwater Master Test Kit on one of my fish tanks and we'll kind of see which one we think is the best. This comes with, you get these different pH packets here. So you get this buffer powder of pH four, uh, 9.18 and then 6.86. You kind of use these then to calibrate this and make sure that it's correct on there. And then that should in theory give you a nice calibrated device where then it's gonna be accurate for taking measurements of whatever you're taking. In my case, I'm mean, gonna be using this with fish tanks. So on the main screen here, once you turn this on, you'll see right now it's set for pH and it's got the temperature showing. If you just touch that power button and do like a single click, that turns it on and off. Doing a bit of a longer press on the up button there, we'll change it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then for the bottom, you can change it. Here's like the TDS, um, they're showing parts per million, salinity, it's giving you a percentage, pH. So you can kind of switch through the modes using that bottom button there. So it's relatively easy to operate this. The batteries for this are right on the top here. So when those are getting low, right here on the top. It has three of these basically kind of like the watch type batteries up in here. That's kind of what this uses. So when that needs replaced, you'll just unscrew that top off there. Okay guys, so I've got three glasses with uh, eight ounces of water here. It says with these 250 milliliters, which is eight ounces at 77 degrees. Uh, so yeah, we are going to put these in here and then I'll do the calibration. Basically once you have this on, you put it to the pH and uh, once you have it on the pH setting, then once you got that in the solution and it's kind of reading level there, you're gonna hold this down for six seconds and it's gonna calibrate it at that pH. So you're gonna do that for those three different levels and uh, then your calibration should be done. Okay, so we've got those all mixed up. It does say to use distilled water too, just FYI. And it says these are very accurate too. You can see it says the accuracy is plus or minus 0 0.01 pH, which is very accurate. Okay, so this should be 6.86. So we're gonna put this in here. Again, we're making sure we're on the pH. So you said this is 6.86. So we are calibrating the device to this. We're gonna hold this down for six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll let go. There's the calibrate. It's gonna flash three times. So we just calibrated it to the 6.86. Okay, right so I have this all calibrated now from those jars I just did this in. So last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more test. I have an aquarium pH kit and that's a liquid test kit. I'm gonna do that and test one of my tanks and make sure that that pH comes out correct or pretty close to this. And then we'll kind of see and uh, go from there then. All right guys, so I got a five milliliter sample here from my fish tank. So uh, I'm gonna use my liquid pH test kit to test this and we'll see what that comes up as. And then I'm gonna use the meter on there and compare. Okay, so I did a high range pH test. So I don't know, maybe seven, eight, eight point oh for this one here. So uh, we will see what the electronic test gives us. All right, so we're gonna turn this on. It's on the pH already. So we'll stick the probe in there. So yeah, it was showing around eight on uh, the other one if I had to guess. So this is what I would assume kind of this should be out here, we'll see. And it gives me the temperature there. It shows that this is 80. So let's see, let's hop over into this tank. This one's a little lower. This one's a little lower temperature, which is the case too, I know for a fact. Okay, so yeah, you can kind of see, so it's jumping around a little bit there. So yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's kind of my test of this, I guess. You can kind of 
see how that performs. I mean, it gives you a good general idea. It's uh, not showing to be very exact right now, the way it's kind of dancing around like that, you can see. Here's the TDS just for example. So it's 383 parts per million. Jump over into this one. You see pretty big difference in the parts per million there. So it just gives you an example to kind of relatively, it can give you a good idea of some of these readings. So guys, you kind of saw the performance there with that pH test meter and the electronic kind like that. So it seemed like it was jumping around quite a bit, honestly. It was at like 7.46 and then to like 7.7 or 7.8 almost. So I don't know, that's kind of still quite a big range for pH terms to be jumping around that much. It's, it's a logarithmic scale, so those type of jumps, it's honestly, you know, pretty wide of a range. So guys, I'm gonna put the link for that electronic meter down there in the description. That is an affiliate link, so it helps me out if you purchase through there. I'm also gonna throw down there the API Freshwater Master Test Kit link. So that is also gonna be an affiliate link, but that's what I use. That's what I think I'm gonna continue using for now, even though it's a little bit more of a pain and it's not quite as simple as using a meter like that. That has a lot in there too. It has pH, it has your ammonia, nitrates, nitrites, uh, it's got a high-end pH if you need as well. So I would say, guys, go with that. It's something that's good to have at hand if you have any type of issues that come up. Uh, if your fish are acting weird, if you know things are dying off, if something's not right, because otherwise you're kind of just guessing, guys. There's really no other way to tell. Uh, I see it all the time in forums and stuff where people have questions. You know, this started happening. My guppies aren't acting right. What is it? And the first thing everyone's going to ask for are, you know, what's your water test showing? So. If you do that, you can see, and it kind of paints a picture of what exactly is going on in the water. Otherwise, you're kind of just blind and you're guessing. So guys, if this video was helpful, please like it down there below. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And thanks for watching here with me today. I'll see you on the next one.